you new fellas. We've got a bit of a cloudy Saturday afternoon here in Melbourne. Probably not too bad for football. Going to be warm out there for the boys. Um, yeah, I didn't look forward to playing games of footy when it was above like 30. You and knack it. It's not even 25. It's starting to get too hot. All right, well, here we go with devastating Kaju beer. Metamorphosis. Devastating Kaju. I guess. Alright, this is um, after being crushed to goo at the hands of the Megagranodon. This mysterious beastie plots future devastation from within the hop cocoon. Dandenong Victoria, 1.7, 6.7% alcohol. Well, that's what I'm talking about, fellas. Start popping these uh, decent percentage beers out there, and people will pay the extra dollar or whatever. The, they're bloody expensive already. You now you're drinking 4.7% expensive beers that don't do anything to you. You don't even feel them. Cheers. Wow, big nose. Wow. Pretty well balanced too. It has got that huge hop hit. It doesn't turn into a, a bit of finish like on the tongue. It's still carrying some sweetness through, some fruitiness. Oh, it's lovely. It'd be hard to choke six of them down. There's a the sort of thing you could, you know, you just buy a couple or another couple with your mate. When he comes around, try a few different beers, just have one of them, one each, you know, that's a nice way to go with something like that. You wouldn't want to have ten of them. Be too strong. But they're bloody beautiful. 6.7% and taste pretty much like it. Mmm. So if you come to Australia, you have to go to Dandenong. They've got a great Saturday market down there, and it's probably, I reckon, one of the most multicultural markets in Australia. Some of the other markets, yeah, Victoria market's pretty multicultural, don't get me wrong there. But you go to Dandenong and see um, a little bit different. A little bit different, I reckon, just quietly. Um, but you can get some really good buys there when they're closing. Yeah, they're about one o'clock. Whatever time they close, I can't remember, but I was there a couple of times and they were closing down and you'd get a whole box of oranges for six bucks, whole box of apples, five bucks, you know, they're just they want to clear their truck. That's great. You know, you're going with boxes of fruit and veggies for bugger all. Yeah. Alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to go down there when I start my food business. Go and get some boxes of veggies and cook them all up all right i'll leave you with that and i'll um we got the old owner coming over today so probably prep a few questions or we'll ask him about the house a couple of water pipes we don't know where they're going the taps and things he's got black pipes hanging out every fucking where i've been picking up green hoses everywhere shoving them in the bin or around the back of the shed because we had a couple of hoses too so there's probably hoses everywhere I'll, I'll use them, I'll set it all up, but um, just trying to make it so it's a bit better, you know, with the chainsaw and clearing trees and all that garbage. I'm knackered, I wouldn't mind going and watch the footy on the TV now, instead of having guests. Anyway, I'll choke through a few beers. Got this one to try out. About five bucks for the bottle. Yeah, it's pretty high price for one beer. Yeah, you can get beers for about a dollar. Well, not a dollar, a bit more than a dollar, but say 40 bucks a slab, you're paying less than two bucks. Yeah, anyway, we're not buying a slab of these. It'd be fucking 100 bucks. Alright, I'll leave you with it. Cheers, everyone. Have a good weekend.